Hi everyone and welcome back to Techie and She. In this video, we will talk about forecasting in Tableau and I'll show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can do a forecasting chart in Tableau. We'll begin with what is forecasting. Now forecasting as you know is basically predicting or estimating an event that will happen in future based on anything that's happened previously. The most basic example of this would be predicting the temperature or rainfall in a particular region. Now, uh, when you say about prediction, you need basically two things, a date field and a measure value which will help you do the forecast. Let's begin with doing a simple example of this in Tableau. Now, I already have this internet and mobile phone per capita trend chart which I have been using from the world indicators data that comes as default in Tableau. Now this line chart shows you the internet usage over a period of time for all of these previous years. If I want to do a forecast of what would be the value after 2012, you could do that by going into the analytics pane and pulling up the forecast and clicking on add of add it to the forecast. Once you do that, you can see from the previous one, you already had the 2012. Now you have 2012 and 2013 as well. And it is color coded in a little bit of lighter shade. You can always change any of these colors uh, because these are colors that have been pulled onto the measure names onto the color shelf. And you can choose any color that you would prefer. Right now I'm choosing some colors from the purple family. So by default, we got one year that was predicted. If you want to do more, you could go right click on this, click on forecast and you'll see these options over here, right? You could choose exactly more than one year. So I'm choosing, let's say any number of years that you want. And let's pull in like for now, for this example, six years in future. You can also change the aggregation and you can change that basis what you are showing on your graph. You can also ignore the last quarter or the last year that you want, right? Right now we are including, we are not including the year 2012. So you can do that. And you can also change the forecast model. You can customize it basis whatever you need, either add seasonality or remove seasonality as you would want. You can also change the predict prediction interval from 90, 95 to 99%. And you could learn more about all of these forecast options over here in the Tableau uh, blog post where they mention everything that you would need around these forecast models, right? So once this is done, you can click on OK. And this is how your uh, trend with forecast would look like. Now you could right click on the pill for the average uh, value and then you could also see various forecast results like the trend, the precision. You can also look at the quality, the upper prediction interval and the lower prediction interval. I would always prefer to show both the actual and the forecast, but this is an individual's choice basis of what you're trying to achieve in your dashboard. You can also describe your forecast by right clicking, clicking on forecast and describe forecast. This gives you everything that you will need to know about the forecast that you've just created. You can learn more about these forecast summary and models by using the link of learn more at the bottom of the uh, of this pane, right? This will give you everything that you will need around how everything over here is calculated and all the different uh, things that are being used in order to if, in order for you to understand the forecast. Okay, so this is how a simple forecast in Tableau would look like. Now, this was something that we just did for a particular year and a measure, right? So this is this was just a combination of that. But you can always use some other dimensions and then also create these forecasts for them. For example, you could pull up anything else. For example, let's just take this birth rate bin put it on to details. Now you can see these different trend lines by each of these different birth rates. And you can also add this to the color shelf and then color them as you would want to, right? You could color each of the different birth rates with a different color. You can use a region as well on the 
on the detail shelf and then use the same thing on the color shelf as well so this is something that you could do and adding the label to um, if you are showing like multiple lines on the graph if you add the label that will help you understand the trend line is for which of these uh, different things so i hope this entire thing would have helped you understand the forecasting in tableau it is very simple and fairly easy compared to anything else that you would do i hope you would have learned a lot from this video if you did please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one